Hey guys, it's Jay here, the autograph guy, and I wanted to uh, shoot a quick video here, uh, just showing some of the autograph updates, uh, some stuff I've added to my collection. Uh, the last a few weeks, maybe a little bit more or so, um, I got a couple items from private signings, and I've also added the rest uh, through the mail, just stuff I've been adding uh, in this uh, pandemic. So first piece I want to show off here is the July 16th, 1983 Sports Illustrated. Let me try to back that up. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it features, it says, uh, those Canadian clubs, so the Expos and Blue Jays, um, the Andre Dawson on this side. I got that in person years ago, and I was kind of hanging on and waiting for Steve to make an appearance. Uh, he does come to town periodically. I, I heard he doesn't fly. He lives in Nevada. Uh, so a private signing came up with a company called Frozen Pond, who I, I absolutely love. Uh, and it was a private signing, like I said. So basically, uh, I want to say it was like $40. Basically dropped the magazine off. They uh, made the arrangement with Steve. He signed it and uh, I picked it up. So I think this is a really cool piece if you're a Blue Jay fan like I am, or certainly a Canadian baseball fan. I think it's an excellent piece here. This is a uh, no label Sports Illustrated 1983. So beautiful piece to add. Next thing I got here, if you've seen my, uh, a lot of my previous videos, I this is my old 1991 Canada Cup program that I had as a kid. Uh, so I started working on it. I added Lindros, Coach Mike Keenan, Shane Corson, and Steve Smith. Turn this in uh, to Frozen Pond again, and I added the Russ Courtnell autograph. He was a player on the team. So uh, reason being, Courtnell, I haven't seen him in probably over 10 years in town. He lives in California. Uh, so basically to turn this in for a private signing, I think was also a no brainer. I think it was around $40. So uh, as I said, drop it off, pick it up. Uh, basically for me to, Courtney was a good uh, TTMer, but you know, for me to mail a magazine, uh, get return postage from, from the US and you know, shipping handling, anytime you deal with the mail, it's a different animal. Um, you know, for, for the cost of the signing, it was uh, basically turnkey, low risk. Um, Portnell, definitely good autograph. The rest of the stuff here, I'll try to burn through. They're just um, cards I got through the mail. First guy here is Rob Pearson. This is an old leaf. Actually never met this guy in person. Uh, he works uh, in the area. He uh, works at a car dealership, but uh, uh, I know he's good with his mail. So I, I, I have these cards forever. I just wanted to kind of get it to him. And he did them here in blue, which is beautiful. So I was 91 score rookie. Here's his 92 OPG Premier. The 92-93 upper deck. Here's his 94 score. Next guy I got here was Doug Gilmer. So there was a, a quick window here of Gilmer doing his mail. Um, all his years as a player, um, I never recall him doing his mail. Um, if you used to write him when he uh, played for the Leafs, they'd send you like a, a, a pre-print postcard. But uh, it seems like he's already stopped uh, doing the mail, so it was a quick window and people sending now. I think I'm reading a lot of return to senders, but uh, I sent him two requests. And first one, I sent three to test the waters. Then I followed it up uh, a week later with four, but I put um, I put $10 in and just a note saying, hey, I, I got you previously, I just need a few more cards. And uh, he did them all. So um, here's the 8078 Opeachy. Did them all in this fine blue. This is this is my new craze, my new obsession, is the 87 Panini Hockey Album. I think this is the greatest album, uh, hockey album ever. I collected this as a kid. When I was in grade three, we all were collecting it. And it was really um, a great, great intro to me, uh, becoming a hockey fan and seeing these stickers. The cool thing about these stickers is um, they were all like profile pictures, the players' faces, so you could really put a face to the guys you were watching on TV. but. Basically, here's the Gilmore, which I love. Um, the 90-91 score Gilmore. 90-91 upper deck Gilmore. So uh, there was a time, I believe, he didn't sign this card. It seems like he's doing it now. So he did these all great and fine blue. Here's like a 94 all-star card. It's a pinnacle card. Here's a 94 Selkie card. Those are great. And last one here is a 94 Jello card. So I like these kind of oddball items you don't see that often. So really nice to Gilmore autographs. Uh, next guy I got, Hall of Famer Guy Lafleur. So I'll explain here why I sent to him again. He's a great TTMer and one of the greatest players of all time. But 
Here's a, uh, I believe this is like an 8990 craft uh, card. So I got this actually from my grandmother when I was a kid. So she cut it off, you know, whatever food uh, she was purchasing at the time. Guy is a great TTMer, so I also gave him $10 here. Uh, this is the 9091 upper deck. And this is really the reason I sent him. So the 9090, sorry, 9192 uh, Pro Set All-Star card. This uh, this game in Chicago, the 91 All-Star game in Chicago is my all-time favorite All-Star game. I just, I, I, I remember that day like it was yesterday. I was uh, 11 years old. I remember going to a card show that morning. Um, with $40, I bought my first Patrick Watt rookie card. Uh, my mom took me to McDonald's for lunch and I uh, got home and I believe the game was in the afternoon at that time. So I remember watching that game, loved it. So these all-star cards here, there's 44 of them in the 9192 Pro Set and uh, I counted, I have, I believe 30 of them already signed. So I thought it could be a cool piece to frame up to get them done. I needed Gila Fleur, so uh, I figured I'd write him a letter to get that done. Um, believe it or not, the hard one is gonna be Gary Galley, who played in the game. I've asked him to sign the card a few times and uh, he doesn't sign that card. So I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, with regards to Gary Galley, but I think I'm gonna kind of pursue uh, finishing this set. So there you go. I also added just a, a 9192 Opeachy. That's a 9192 scorecard, kind of a tribute. And this is like a 14, 15 upper deck um, platinum. Uh, profiles, Guy Lafleur, where he's got the helmet, which is pretty cool. Next guy I got was Steve Larmer. There's the 83-84 um, Opeachy rookie card. That's actually Steve Ludzig in the photo. Um, I have this card done a few times, um, but you know I just included it here. Love this one. Like I was just explaining, the 87 Panini stickers. So he did these up great too in the blue. There's the Steve Larmer. The 8990 uh, Opeachy. Here's the 9091 uh, Upper Deck Series 2 All Star card, Campbell Conference. Love that card. 9192 Canada Cup. I remember that very fondly. I think I'm going to add him, or I will be able to add him on that program. Him, I'm not. Uh, him, I think I'll, I'll be able to see him in person eventually. Um, he does live in in the area in the province so it's not like uh, russ corbett who's in california uh, steve larmer i do need the signature on the uh canada cup program but uh, i'm confident i will get that in person here's the 9091 pro set love that uh, sorry 9091 opich premier love that card the last guy i'm going to show you here got him today vince don Fus. so he lives um in uh, Quebec, but here's the 87, 88, 88 rookie card of Peachy. He did these in blue, which I love. Um, you see a lot of stuff he sends back in the mail uh, with the black, but thankfully, you know, he had the blue Sharpie on him. He also has a real cut down signature. So I have a couple of his rookie cards already signed in my collection that I got in person. And it's a real choppy kind of shortened signature. This is his full uh, Vincent Dunfu signature with a 10. So I think that rookie card looks outstanding. Here's the 8990 um, Opeachy, another good looking card here with the blue, very nice. The 9091 upper deck, also a uh, beautiful card, beautiful signature, uh, you know, historic set, love that. And the last card I'm gonna show you today, really the reason I sent to Don Fus was, once again, here's the 9091 Pro Set All-Star card, which I needed, so I think I'm gonna pursue these All-Star cards I'll worry about Gary Galley another time, but uh, I wanted to really get away kind of the low hanging fruit here, guys I needed. And uh, that's about it. So uh, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, looking at these beautiful cards like I did. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and comment. I love your comments and uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Thanks for watching.